Yeah. It's the NBA on 2K Sports. This is Kevin Harlan. I'm joined by Richard Jefferson and Greg Anthony. And David Aldridge will be reporting from the sideline. We've got the Boston Celtics and the Miami Heat. Now here's Rondo. Allen up top. All alone. Good. And it's Rondo who picks up the assist. And this is Allen's game. One of the quickest releases we've ever seen. Amazing shooting off that pass. Here's Wade. Pass to Haslam. To the paint. Oh, and the dunk by Shaq. One of the most ferocious dunkers we've ever seen. Shaq capable of bringing down the entire basket. Now here's Rondo. Allen shot is off. And it's Walker with the ball, bringing it up for the Miami Heat. He's off on that one. Excellent D there from Garnett. Allen outside. Stolen by Wade. O'Neal inside. Kevin Garnett grabs the miss. Pass to Brown. Inside. And it's slammed in by Garnett. And how about the power there from KG? He can fly with the best of them. Here's O'Neal. An easy two points on the lane. How about the head of steam he's able to generate right there and just gets to the rack really easy. Down low. Garnett. Outside for Ronda. Nice ball movement by Boston. Back to Pierce. Walker with some nice D. And you don't see that every day. Usually he'll convert when he gets that close to the rim. Six to shoot. Pass to Shaq. That falls. Nice feed that time from Walker. O'Neal's got six. And so it's Rondo bringing it up for the Boston Celtics. Trailing by two. And that passion that Garnett plays with is really infectious. He's always talking and trying to get himself and his guys going. Kevin Garnett. Well, pro probably a little draft in the arena tonight. He's the last guy you expect to miss the mark by that much. Absolutely. Just over two and a half minutes played here so far in the first quarter. Pass to Posey. Peyton left side. Here's Morning. To the inside. And the jam by Udonis Haslam. Look at Morning making the unselfish play, giving it away rather than forcing the shot. And here is Posey. And yes, it's good. And they've done well in taking advantage of some late defensive rotations and getting the ball in the paint. Now here's Brown. He's still scoreless so far in this one. Pass to Pierce. And there's the block. Just stops it cold and takes possession. Peyton with it. Wade outside. Wade, double team. Has him with it. Lock at six. Here's Posey. Basket is good. He'll get a chance for one more at the line. Well, not hard to see why they are giving up points on this run. Just too many good looks from in close. And guys, what do you think about the offensive approach we've seen so far for Miami? You know, Posey, one of the few guys in NBA history to have played more than 82 games in a regular season. He actually played 83 one year after getting traded midseason. Kevin Garnett. And Garnett, that's good. 
He oh, finds dude. a shooter in motion and is confident he can threat him with the lead pass. Well done. And here's Wade. Out to Peyton. And there's the whistle. Illegal screen. Well, that's going to draw a whistle every time down the floor. Not even close to being a legal screen. That's a very avoidable turnover. you got to focus on the details. Now here's Rondo. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. And it's out of bounds. Last touch by Allen. Like, like what? Like, what is going on right now? Twenty-six seconds left in the first quarter. Wade drives in. First shot, first basket. He's out of the blocks fast. And this has been a great job of just getting into the middle of that defense and really scoring effectively from the paint. And Allen showing good recognition on that play to set up a teammate for the basket. Here's Wade. And no luck with that time on the buzzer meter. And so it's Miami with their lead standing at six points. 15. The Celtics. Nine. And hope you've enjoyed the broadcast so far. Halfway through the first half in this one. And before we move on, what do you guys think about what we've seen so far from the Heat? Well, in that first quarter, they were intent on just pounding the ball down low. And let me tell you, when you establish a physical edge, it gives you a mental edge, too. The D just kind of stepping aside and letting him get to the rim. There's a reason, G.A., the lead is what it is right now. Yeah, it's going to take better rim protection than that if they're going to climb out of this hole. Now here's Rondo. No points in the game yet for him. Now in the game. Well, he leading by eight. Williams looking around. To the middle. Looks for O'Neal. Gets it to him. And we have an intentional foul there, G.A. Uh, wish I could say why. <laughs> that one's pretty strange. I mean, no idea what got into his head right there. It's Williams high post. Here's Morning. Takes the assist and lays it in. Pick out the pass nicely. Yeah, three consecutive field goals have come right at the rim. The D had better start buckling now. Back to Rondo. Lays it up and banks it in. And although not the biggest guy, you got to love how Rondo uses his body inside. Has a great touch as well around the rim. Here's Williams. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. First personal foul. Yeah, way to play in attack mode and get to the line. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. Jason Williams. And Williams is a baller. He, he's an exciting player to watch. Fantastic passer and shooter. Now here's Rondo. Allen outside. From outside, off the mark. And they had some botched coverage that turned into no cover. To the inside. And so they foul intentionally. Paul Pierce. First personal foul. Third team foul. Outside, Baton. And they double up Peyton. Just four to shoot. Here's Morning. Some solid defense from Brown. Celtics trailed by 10. Garnett outside. He makes another one. That's four up and four in to start his game. Yeah, the chemistry has been terrific. Really impressed with their offensive execution. And Miami calls their first time out of the game. Every time out, a chance to review the lineups, matchups, or call a play. I'm sure all of the above is in order, and you can never be too content. 
here's Williams. To the paint. Here's Morning. And too much time in the lane. They get three called for the three-second violation. That is just a careless turnover. You've got to be smarter in those exchanges. And it's Pierce in the corner. Allen outside. Nice ball movement by Boston. Garnett goes up and lays it nice and easy. Garnett's got four this quarter. And the crisp passing has opened things up for them offensively. And we're going to have a jump ball. It's tied up there. Violation. That's a jump ball. South goal. So it's Boston now. Celtics trail by six. Down low. The kick out to Brown. It's Pierce on the wing. Pass to Garnett. And it's Rondo in the corner. Six on the shot clock. And it's Shaquille O'Neal with the foul. That's his first foul. First personal foul. First team foul. There's 154 left in the first half. For your the first he shot, first fast. He's out of the blocks fast. Way. And finding his teammate in stride, he led his guy perfectly. The assist, Ray Allen. Here's Wade. Here's O'Neal. And a good offensive board. And he gets the bucket. Shaq's got eight points. Uh, the strength of O'Neal uh, is otherworldly. Allen outside. Here's Brown. Pass to Garnett. And it's slammed in by Garnett. And when Garnett has it going, he's unguardable. I, I love how confident and versatile he is on offense. Now here's Wade. O'Neal. Boston five. And the Kevin call Garnett. on the shot that sends Kevin him to the line. Team five. It's on Kevin Garnett. Four. And he's got his first free throw of the game. Now at the line. He misses the free throw. Well, sending Shaq to the line here is on paper the smart foul, but O'Neal might just make them regret it. Here's Pierce. Hits the layup oh, after the Pierce. sweet pump fake to freeze the D. Yeah, coach's pet peeve there. No box out. Uh, yeah, you think you got to stop, and it's wasted because of sloppy work on the glass. You literally practice that every day. Here's Boston. They're on a 12-4 run right now. Allen outside. Outside, Pierce. Inside. And that one's good by Garnett. Assist goes to... And that's 15 points for Garnett. Oh, great ball movement there. To the paint. Here's Haslam. And there it is for him. And the Heat lead by two. And how about the mindset of Williams? Just constantly on the lookout to set up his teammates. It's blocked by Shaq. They get it back. And the combination of his quickness and soft touch around the rim really allows him to pull off shots like that. A lot of players don't have a reverse. What a score. So the clock runs out with the score tied going into halftime. And don't go away. After the break, we'll see you right back here for the start of the third quarter. Okay, fans. And in that first half, we saw a pretty tight battle. We'll soon find out what sort of adjustments were discussed during the half. Now here's Wade. Lays it up off the glass. Wade's got the first bucket of the third here for the Heat. And it's a difficult task to try and stop Wade inside. He plays a physical brand of basketball and has a variety of moves to choose from. Heat foul. Antoine Walker. First personal foul. First team foul. Brown outside. Pass to Garnett. Five to shoot. Lays it up and in off the pretty assist. 
assist from. Browns got the game tied up here for Boston. They are just killing them on the interior. In the corner, O'Neal with it. Here's Wade. Misses the layup. He had him with that pump fake. Diversified scoring in this one for him. I love when everyone can get involved. A full team effort. And Pierce always been great at just getting into the heart of the defense. Feels real comfortable when he's in attack mode around the rim. Well, he's making a switch here. Time to turn up the heat with your very Here in this third quarter, just over a minute play. Once again, fans, your Wade surveying the D. Garnett with the block. Pass to Allen. It counts, and the foul. Udonis has it's going to be on Udonis Hesler. Second personal foul. And they've had assists now in their last three baskets. This will be his third free throw shot of the game. Kevin Garnett, no good on the free throw. Dayton in the corner. The shot's good on the assist by Wade. Peyton's got his first pass. And despite the size disadvantage, attacking the heart of that defense. Really unfazed. Throw his height right out the window there. And the defense dodged one right there. Not the guy you want to leave open. Now Wade. Back to Peyton. Out to the right wing. Pass to Haslam. The Heat need to get a shot off. Morning. 24 second violation. Whoops, there's the 24 second Something shot clock more. violation, so they'll turn it over. And, and you can tolerate gaffes like that sometimes, but in a close game, man, I tell you what, that really hurts. Pierce with a wide open look. Paul nice Pierce. shot from the wing. Pierce has got six. How many times have we seen a possession like that from them today? Ending with a basket, coming off a pretty pass. Here's Peyton. Pass to Haslam. Shoots it up. Bank shot, no good. Ooh, might rest that one a little bit. Pretty clean look inside. And that one, good. Pierce has got the lead up to six now for the Celtics. A, a, a tough first half, but it's been a different story here since the break. Back to morning. Garnett with the block. Two minutes. Some nice ball movement here by the Celtics. Pass to Brown. And there's the call on Udonis Hazel. Udonis has his third foul of the game. Third personal foul. The Heat making a switch third here. Team foul. 152 left in the, the third quarter of the game. Shakes him. And it's slammed in by Garnett. Kevin Garnett. And he's doing it all himself. Miami shouldering the offensive foul. load in effortless fashion right now. Timeout called the Heat. He's trying to stem the tide here. On the wrong side of a scoring run here, we might see a lineup change. I'll, I'll be pretty curious. A little under two and a half minutes off the clock now here in the third. Wade gets the bucket. And so calm, even when pressured, Wade is so good at keeping his focus on the task at hand. Pass to Garnett. And it's slammed in by Garnett. And surprisingly, a firm throwdown. And that's a little bit out of character, Kevin. It is, Greg. You're right. He's got plenty of size to attack the basket, but rarely does. He did that time, and let's not discourage him, because I'd like to see more of that from him in the future. Here's Morning. No good. Shot missing. Excellent D there from Garnett. Miami foul. The Celtics shooting their fourth and fifth attempts at the free throw line tonight. Team foul number four. At the line for the Celtics, Paul Pierce. And he can't get the first one. The Heat making a switch here. 
He hits the second from the line. There's 47 seconds left in the third. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. Here's Williams. It's rebounded by Rondo. And battling hard on the glass, they hold the advantage here so far. Back to Pierce. Tipped away. Out of bounds. Miami takes possession. We've got 22 seconds left in the third quarter. Walker in the corner. Pass to Posey. Back to Shaq. Out of bounds. Boston takes possession. That pass wandered off target. Can't lose focus on the little bitty things. There's 10 seconds left here in the third quarter. To the middle. Here's Garnett. With the second effort. No good. And so it's Boston. In control with a nine-point lead to end the quarter. They're pounding the... And with three quarters behind us, let's see what this fourth period holds in store for us. Celtics leading by nine. Back to Ronda. The kick out to Brown. Allen outside. Shot clock at six. Brown, good. When you allow good scores to get uncontested shots at the rim, no wonder you're losing. That's a great possession. Put your best players in a position to succeed. Shaq down low. And so Miami again turning it over. Now in the game, Wayne Wade. So it's the Celtics now. They lead by 11, the largest margin of the game. The shot by Rondo is no good. Posey with it. Garnett with the block. And we've played through about a minute here in the fourth. Pierce has got space. Again, the miss by the Celtics. The defense there got away with a major lapse. And out of bounds as the Celtics gain possession. So it's the Celtics now. Here in the fourth quarter, their defense has been very strong, allowing no baskets. Pass to Garnett. To the inside. And then Brown with the dunk. Oh, that's straight TNT, baby. Explosive. That was pretty, and he just has that effortless knack for getting inside. Okay, now a timeout called by Miami. Look at Kevin Garnett. What a contribution. He's been on an absolute tear inside. They gotta figure out a way to keep him out of the lane. I don't know. Well, Miami's coach had some advice for the team during that last break. 
He got on him. He said he's got to see more intensity. He said we put ourselves in this hole and we've got to work our way out of it. Show me you've got what it takes, guys. Thank you, David. And the Celtics with possession here. Outside Pierce. Launches it. That one misses. And the Heat going the other way now. Well, despite some uneven shooting from him, they're still out in front. And there's the eight second call as they can't get it across half court in time. And just a little too lax with that possession, and it cost them. And if they want to come back in this game, look, they got to clean up those mistakes. That's and there's the three-second call, this one on the defense. Ball. And a chance to catch up on some numbers here, the scoring one breakdown one. for Boston. One. And the free throw, no good, but they'll get the ball back here. The, the jumper of Ray Allen is obviously just unreal, but that comes with practice and repetition. Ray puts up thousands of shots every day, perfecting his craft. Three. Uh, unwilling to let up, even for a moment. That's his killer instinct, That's just fanning the flames. Always plays hard until the final whistle, no matter what the situation is. The Celtics working the ball around now. Lock at six. Let's the three fly. It's hauled in by the Heat. Just over two and a half minutes played now here in the final quarter of regulation. And they call the eight second violation. Too much time getting it up court. It's Juan Walker. The Heat making a switch here. Here's Rondo. Allen outside. Traps in the tray. Ray Allen. And the Celtics leap by 19. And this is Allen's go-to shot. Just a sensational shooter from the three-point line. Timeout called the Heat. And the lack of rim protection, top of the list. I'm sure Coach is going to give them an earful about that. He can't be happy with that soft interior D. Unable to get the ball in bounds, they get called for the five-second violation. Greg, we're seeing more fines recently for the language that players use with the media. Is that a concern? I don't think it should be a, a, a so concern, and, and I'm not kidding. The, the league's going to have standards of decorum. You're, you're on TV. you got to keep it together. Right. However, I think that as a society, we're a little more tolerant of certain words that are used in public. And so he hits the technical free throw. Rondo looking over the floor. Allen outside. The Celtics need to get a shot off. Pierce. They grab their own miss. And here's Rondo. 
Allen outside. Over Wade. Ray and good as it just line. snugs right down Mike through the net. Yeah, Rondo just knows how to wheel and deal. Has that exceptional That's feel for when one of his guys is open. Boston ball. Oh, costly error there. We'll see how they rebound Michael. from that miscue. Oh, well, they don't yeah. have time to dwell on that. They just need to learn from their mistakes and move forward. Next play. Shaven Anderson. Allen outside. Derek. Good. Anderson. And it's Rondo who picks up the assist. Allen's got Ray 11 Allen. in the second half. Well, a huge bucket there to stifle the crowd. Yeah, very little to cheer about for them. Five-second inbound violation. That'll be a five-second call. Celtics ball. And just a little too lax with that possession, and it cost them. And if they want to come back in this game, look, they got to clean up those mistakes. So it's the Celtics now. They lead by 24, their biggest margin. Now here's Rondo. Allen outside. Pass to Rondo. Back to Allen. Over Anderson. And again, it's Boston converting. He'll be asking for some lottery numbers later if he keeps knocking down shots like that. That's They're going to turn it over. They couldn't get it inbounds that time. Boston ball. And just a little too lax with that possession, and it cost them. And if they want to come back in this game, look, they got to clean up those mistakes. Right side, Rondo. Down to five on the shot clock. Pass to Pierce. Over right. Paul Pierce. Again, the Celtics good for two. Saw the opportunity to put this away and did not turn it down. And that score probably slams the door for any would-be comeback.